Full time tonight at St James's Park, Newcastle United 1, Manchester United 0. No. That is now the third straight win in a row over the red side of Manchester. I'm here to show you all the best raw, authentic, uncut footage from the match today afterwards. What has happened between the fans, the fans are both mocking each other. There's a great interaction where the fans are actually getting each other. There's a real feel, a real buzz now with this fixture, which I'm liking. But yeah, you've seen the intro and they got trampled on by a horse. The police, for the first time I've actually seen this season, they got quite close between the fans. They haven't been able to control it as well as normally do. So let's find out why that was. Let's show you everything that's happened. A big match, a big aftermath feeling. If you guys want to see the vlog tomorrow, get down there, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. This is the best possible content you can see after the game of the fans interacting with each other. So let's show you it now. Enjoy the video. <laughs>
Now that we saw everything that took place after the game, quite a lot happened now actually in the game and outside the ground as well, but we'll talk about the match itself. As expected, as I said in my video earlier on the day, I thought Manchester United were in huge trouble tonight. And for the most part, they were. Scoreline doesn't reflect it, but Newcastle, for more or less 90 minutes, played them off the park, only towards the back end of the match where they started to struggle with fitness because the same 11 players are playing without any subs. Right, Polly, right? Yeah, what's, what's your thoughts on the game? I thought you got actually, I was to mention it now, actually. Yeah, I thought we battered them for you can't say we're just miles ahead of Manchester United. Uh, we need to take more shots uh, and hopefully. We need to score more, more. Like the conversion rate was terrible for most of the day. We had a. Uh, at the start, we could have been two or three. Nah, well, he's right, you know, he is right. And you cast off plenty of chances in the game. We, we should have took more, but listen, it's about the three points. Did we get at the end of the day? Yes, we did. Do I get a picture? Of course, he can. Take care, pal. But yeah, Newcastle had a lot in the game, they deserved it, and uh, we nearly, nearly got shafted again towards the back end of the match. Manchester equalised, one of the jammiest goals I've ever seen. Anthony takes a shot about 12 yards out. Maguire steals his shot and scores on it. The back has died the opposite end of the goal. Maguire has stolen his shot and scores on it, right, pal? Uh, you think at that point, oh, that's just typical, typical Newcastle with that. But there's something. Maguire was offside. Now, I need to watch you back the replay, but I, I swear for a minute that if Maguire doesn't block that shot, the initial shot's going in, the bracket at that point has been the pitch for about two minutes. I swear Anthony's shot's on target. It's probably going to go in. I need to watch you back, but I think Maguire is, it's essentially shafted the goal, and then obviously he was offside anyway, but um, I, I could have thought that the water counted it. But it didn't happen, no. Uh, I mean, deservedly so as well. No chance in hell did they as they were playing today. I mean, it's about grinding games. I think Newcastle now is such a comfortable team to watch in regards to grinding games. I think in the past when Newcastle before they take on the chase and a 1-0 or 2-1 where they need to see the game out, it's always agony watching it. But now I've got that confidence where I didn't feel like we were going to score despite the year the disallowed offside goal. I didn't think I'd get an odd chance. I didn't think I'd have an ultimate opportunity to take a, a shot because Man United would just had nothing in the game. Hello there. Get, Hello, in, get in there. They're not good, not a good team. I said it this morning, I think Newcastle are just miles ahead of them. I think Newcastle, pound for pound, every single position of the pitch are better than them. I mean, Lewis May today, an 18-year-old lad, so that was great in PSG. Again, he looks streets ahead, he looks so good. I, I absolutely adore Lewis May and Anthony Gordon with his, his sixth goal of the season now. Uh, next game, Everton away as well. Um, I can't wait to see Gordon down there. That's the match where he needs to do something in, you know, the Everton fans, he doesn't like them. There's always that bit of animosity between the two. That's the one game you want where if Anthony Gordon's going to score, it's going to be that one. I'd love to see how he go on down there. That's going to be a hard game. We're all saying now, I'm expecting, I am expecting that to be a hard game. And Tottenham on Sunday, I actually think it'll be easier than Everton, believe it or not. I haven't liked Tottenham over the last few weeks. They've just lost three games in a row. Now, they are definitely dipping in form. 
Whereas Everton's a, a tough side, they've got the 10 point deduction, they're kind of their backs against the wall. Even this season, I think they've been good without the deduction. Uh, I've been impressed with Everton, so keep an eye out on them. I'm a bit worried by them. But yeah, vlog will come out on the channel at the moment. We've got a great result tonight over Manchester United. You've seen everything after the match. <laughs> and then you've got a trampoline on my bloody horse, honestly. Um, listen, my pal. Yes, it's a great result. We'll talk about more in detail tomorrow, but I'm impressed. I thought it was great. Um, I expect to be dominant. I was dominant. I was hoping for a bit more of a convincing scoreline, but listen, I'm going to complain about winning 1-0. One, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I thought Newcastle had a great match. Man United, as expected, struggled, and it was just a result where like, it was just a result where I thought Newcastle fully deserved it. Very impressive with it again from the boys. Well done to every single one of them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. You can't see Man United fans all chatting at each other. There. Man United fans with the 2 0 from the Cup final. Well, listen, lads, how, how are you doing the Carabao Cup this season? Oh, that's right. You're out because we beat you, honestly. Uh, yeah, well, listen, we'll see that you can bag about the Cup final all I want. But the point is, I think the Castle will be back soon. I think the Castle will be chasing towards that major honour. And finally, I think we'll do it. But listen, great result tonight. Still got plenty more to go during this Christmas period, so we can't rest for one moment. Great and hard game on Thursday night. I'm not like an Everton away Thursday night. I've got a sneaky feeling it's going to be a bit like a Wolves or West Ham or Bournemouth. This season. The team that's going to sneak points off us. We've got to do better against Everton. But listen, great result today. Just need to convert our chances. So when we're on the second half trying to stay out of the game, it's not as tight as that. We've got to take our chances in Everton. I can't stress it enough. But result was good today. Well done, boys.